drop top, non stop. Making our way to the nearest. Good morning, friends, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Katrina. Hello and welcome. Hope you stick around and hit that subscribe button down below. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing a grocery haul and meal plan. Now, this grocery haul is a little larger than it usually is. It's about $300, give or take a little. And because of that, we have actually been um, offered free delivery. So I've taken full advantage of that this week. So we are just waiting on that truck of groceries to be delivered. It is currently about 7 a.m. in Australia. So it's good to be doing our groceries in the morning for once. We normally do them in the afternoon. So it'll be a bit of a change. We're just gonna wait on them and then I'm gonna show you my groceries. Then I'm gonna show you our meal plan and what we're gonna be meal prepping for the week. Hope you enjoy. I hope you get some ideas out of this. Let's get into it. Okay, so the groceries just got here and I've just gone ahead and unloaded them all. This is everything that we got for just over $300. I'm just gonna start over this side and explain what we got. So first, I just had to restock the freezer with some frozen veggies. I've just gone ahead and got some Brussels sprouts, some veggie rice, some sliced onions, because if you are a regular here, you know that I do not like to cut up my own onions, although I have brought a couple red onions this week, so, um, but that's for a recipe that I kind of had to get them for. I got two packets of these uh, broccoli and cauliflower mixes and two packets of the broccoli florets. And then for snacks this week, I've just gone ahead and gotten some Maltesers, some of these strawberry yogurt rice cakes. I wanted to try out this 200% um, caramel Mars bar. I thought that looked really good. So that one's for me. <laughs> and then I've grabbed this peppermint crisp um, milk for my partner. He loves anything mint chocolate. I've grabbed these for the freezer, just some drumstick minis and also these crackers for my one-year-old. She loves those ones. And then I saw this, it was half price, a bathroom sponge. It says it gets through like soap scum and stuff like that. And I always struggle with my shower and keeping it clean. So I thought I would give that one a try. I will let you know in the description box or comments down below whether that works out or not. And then it was only like $2 anyway, I think. So even if it doesn't, I mean, it's like it's worth the money for a sponge anyway. Um, and then I've just gone ahead and stocked up on wipes. I do that every six months or so. So I've gotten four boxes of those. Each box comes with six packets. So that should last me another six months or so anyway. I went and got three packets of this paper towel stocked up on that. That was half price as well. Again, I always stock up on this stuff when it's half price, but yeah, I just wanted to grab them anyway because we had run out. And I've just grabbed one big packet of nappies in the back there. They weren't on special, so I only got one packet of those. I was trying to take advantage of the delivery and stock up on things like the bulkier items while I could, while I didn't have to cart them to my car and home and stuff. So um, yeah, I would have grabbed more, but they weren't on special and they do cost a fortune when they're not on special. So I just grabbed one packet of those. Now over to our fresh uh, vegetables. I ordered a packet of carrots, but I actually got sent one. So we'll make do with that anyway. I can swap that, um, what I was using that for in the recipe. I could swap that out for just some of these other vegetables anyway, so that won't matter. And then I grabbed a punnet of these mushrooms. So that's for one of the meals this week. I got uh, five capsicums. There's a lot of capsicum in the meals that we have this week. I'm going to show you the meal plan next and you will see why there is just so much capsicum. I'm making a lot of um, sheep hand meals so yeah that is why they go really good so it's really easy to chop up and chuck on those i'm also going to be making a what's for dinner video including all these sheep pan meals so keep a look out for that be sure to subscribe turn on your notifications so that you do not miss it i've also grabbed a couple of these uh zucchinis mm, it's not looking too good um and that is for the meals as well tomatoes that's just for snacking my one-year-old is loving those at the moment got some sweet potatoes and i got two red onions here as i said earlier that is for a recipe Recipe as well so I'm probably gonna see if my partner can chop them up because I really really dislike cutting up onions I just I really can't handle it um, for fresh fruit I have gone ahead and grabbed some blueberries some bananas and some strawberries we have leftover apples and um, we have a lot of frozen fruit as well so we didn't need to grab too much this week I went ahead and grabbed four bags of this ravioli we always stock up on that too we've just run out in the freezer so I had to grab a few bags of that I've also grabbed for a meal this week. I've never had this before, but it's a loaded fries topper, cheese and bacon flavored. Looks really good, but we're having like, um, I think they're called chili fit, sorry, Philly cheese steaks, homemade ones. So did I say they're right? Philly cheese steaks. Yeah. Um, and 
they're going to be homemade and this is the cheese pour over i'm going to try if we don't like this one i've also gone ahead and gotten just this cheese finishing sauce i know that one is delicious i've had that before so if the other one doesn't work out this will come in handy and then i also grabbed one of these uh, baby food pouches for my baby for when we have pizza night i just think this is a bit more healthy for her as i said in my last grocery haul and she loved it so i've gone ahead and grabbed another one of those for this week and I have grabbed two of these macaroni and cheeses. We've run out of those. I love those for a quick side dish on the side of our meal just to help fill everyone up. Then I've grabbed one of these three liter milks. I got one block of cheese. I probably should have grabbed two, but it'll do for this week. And I got two packets of these 24 slice single cheese. Then I went ahead and got some raisin toast. I only get raisin toast when it's half price. It's been half price a bit lately. So I've grabbed one of those. And then I got a white bread as well. I get that every single week. I grabbed some hot dog rolls. I wanted to get the crunchy rolls this week for the um, Philly cheese steaks, but um, this is just gonna have to do because they had sold out or they didn't have any on the shelves of the crunchy rolls anyway. So hopefully it still tastes all right in these ones. I grabbed some wraps for one of the meals we're making this week. And I grabbed a bunch of these yogurts for the week. My toddler has one of these once a day and they're the only yogurts he will eat. And he loves them, so that's another treat for him. Also went ahead and grabbed a couple of these tins of brown lentils because I am going to be making up some pasta sauce this week as well. So I'm just going to be chucking those in. And I got these. These were half price. Got a couple to put in the cupboard. Um, we're not going to be using these this week, but it's always good to grab these when they're half price, especially if you know that that's a meal that you make regularly. So I've grabbed some butter chicken and also some curried sausages. Now I think that's it for everything over here. I think I mentioned everything. And then I have gone ahead and gotten one big bulk packet of chicken breasts. And we got these chicken breast fingers crumbs, big kilo bag. We always have those in the freezer. They're actually my favorite. So um, we have that at least maybe like once every couple of weeks for dinner with some sides and stuff, normally the mac and cheese and then some broccoli or something. I got these sausages for one of the meals. I got uh, this minced meat that I'm gonna be making, putting into that um, spaghetti sauce. I also have some in the freezer that I'm gonna use up as well. And then I've gone ahead and gotten these um, prawns. That's for one of the meals this week as well. And some of this beef to pop in the chili. Ugh, I keep saying that wrong. To pop in the Philly cheese steaks. So that is everything that we got this week. I'm going to go ahead and show you our meal plan now. So on Monday, we are having Philly cheesesteaks. On Tuesday, roast chicken and veggies as like a sheet pan kind of meal. On Wednesdays, ravioli bolognese. We have that at least once a week. Thursday, we are having honey soy chicken with rice. Friday is shrimp fajitas. We haven't tried that one before, but I'm really excited to give that recipe a go. On Saturday's pizza night, we'll just put some garlic bread with that and then any leftover fruit that wasn't eaten during the week just to make sure nothing goes to waste or goes out of date. And then on Sunday, we are having sheet pan, sausage and veg. I'm going to be sharing a few of these in a what's for dinner video that's coming out later in the week or maybe next week. So be sure to have your bell notifications turned on so that you do not miss that video. And then for meal prep this week, I'm just going to go ahead and wash and prep those veggies just to make sure that I stick to the meal plan. Makes it a lot easier if everything is ready to go in the fridge for me and then I'm going to be making up a really big batch of bolognese sauce I need some for this week and I also need to put a bunch in the freezer for the following weeks just to make it a lot easier I need to make up a whole bunch of smoothie bags because we are going through them really quickly as well and also I need to make a double batch of oatmeal biscuits because one batch is only lasting us two to three days at the moment being home all the time we are just eating a lot more than usual and I also need to get that block of cheese graded up now that is it for the meal plan and meal prep this week i hope you got some great ideas out of this video if you did be sure to let me know in the comments down below if you tried any of them out and what you thought otherwise as always thank you so much for watching and i will see you all next week we'll keep it going on into the night we're chasing clouds until we find our light and we will never let it go we're holding